So the first certification on my list is none other than the CCNA certification. So if you listen to any of my content in the past or any podcast episode, you probably could have guessed that this certification was going to be on my list. So this certification is Cisco's associate level certification. And I'm willing to bet that this certification is probably responsible for getting a lot of people their first role in the IT industry. So it was the reason I got my first role in the industry. And I know plenty of people who may have had this certification and it landed them roles also. One thing I like about this certification is very versatile. So by versatile, I mean that it's a networking certification and networking is involved in, um, in every aspect that I can think of within the IT industry. There's a networking component. That way, it makes this certification perfect for someone to get their foot in the door in my eyes because let's say you go out and get this certification. The certification, like I stated, is a networking associate, an associate level networking certification. But let's say that you never had an IT job at all. So where a lot of hiring managers or managers or anybody within the industry may look at and see that, okay, this person knows their way around networking, or at least on an associate level. So they're pretty decent with networking, but this person doesn't have any kind of experience. So that networking role, like I said, that networking role, you have a little bit more responsibility. So they could be like, okay, this person may not be ready to go to a straight networking role where they have a lot of responsibility, but we do have these other positions open that this person will be well suited for because in help desk, you utilize networking. You probably use networking more than anything else because everything else, most of the time, you probably have a script or something like that to go by, or maybe you got a knowledge base that tells you what to do, how to resolve certain issues. But that networking component of it, a lot of times you have to just know it. You have to be able to look at a PC and say, oh, someone has manually put in an IP address on this PC. Let's set it back so it automatically gets an IP address. Or you may have to look at it and say, okay, this PC isn't grabbing an IP address at all. So you have to know some of that networking component in every position. So I had to know networking in help desk. I had to know networking in desktop. You know, I definitely had to know in networking. So every component. Every position I went to, networking was very utilized, which is why I think this certification is one of the ones I like to say helps move the needle because, like I said, it's a very versatile certification. And like I said, even though it's a networking cert, it's able to help folks land other roles within the IT industry. So the second certification on my list is CompTIA Security Plus. So this is a security certification. Basically, it's the standard for any security professional. So anyone that's wanting to go the security route, nine times out of 10, either it's me or someone else or someone you see online, if it's a certification we can point you towards, it's usually going to be the security plus first off. And then from there, I'd like to say you start pivoting to whatever you like to specialize in within security. But usually that security plus is the gold standard. So anyone looking to get in security or any uh, professional looking to pivot into security, this is usually the certification that they go out of. And then with this certification, it has a very good return on investment because, like I said, it's a government-recognized certification. Uh, so usually, this is one of the few certifications that I've seen where someone with maybe no experience go and get this certification. And depending on the right time and the right place, that person could land a pretty decent paying job just off this certification. And of course, it's not all about just getting the certification, but you also have to be able to, you know, pass the interview and actually know what the certification, know whatever the certification is that you got. So not only that, so like, but this certification, I've seen a couple of people that go from, you know, no experience, getting the certification and landing a pretty decent role. Now that may not be for everyone, because like I always say, it depends on the time, you know, in the area you're located. You know, if you're located in a large area, you may have a good chance of doing it or being one of those folks. And then also for ex-military folks, you know, a lot of people are ex-military. I used to have a coworker that was ex-military and basically a lot of his friends was basically 
They got high paying roles because they were ex military. Let's say they might have might have had a security clearance, and then they pair that with a security plus. And like I said, they they back in the game, but you know some of them. I ain't gonna say six figures, but a lot of them was real close to six figures. And depending on your area, you're probably knocking on the door of six figures, or maybe you don't knock the door down and you pass six figures. But this security plus, like I said, it has a good return on your investment. So anyone looking to go the security route, usually your first certification, I would say hands down, needs to be CompTIA's Security Plus. So the third certification on my list, so this certification, I'm actually going to list three vendors. So it's three vendors to these to this third certification here because all the three vendors, I think their certifications are pretty valuable in this area. And then also this certification is one you hear me talking about recently. Uh, this certification is one that I like to look back to my younger self and be like, man, what was you thinking? You know, this is something that I wish when I was younger, I had took more time to learn because now it's kicking me in the tail. So this is a certification. Like I said, I talk about it a lot. Uh, this is probably the next certification I go after one of these three certifications. Uh, but the certification is basically any Linux certification, man. So you got the LPIT. Linux Plus, which is CompTIA, and then Red Hat has a slew of certs, which is the first one, I think, is the RHCSA, uh, which I think that's the one that I'm probably going to try to go towards once I start, once I get back in that studying mode, you know, so I've been thinking about, you know, some vlogs or something with me studying, you know, something to get me back motivated going towards this Linux, but this certification here, like I said, any Linux certification, so a lot of things is built on Linux. So everything touches Linux in some form, way, or fashion. So a lot of your cloud is Linux, uh, cybersecurity, networking, you use a lot of Linux. So like I said, in, well, maybe not in networking, but a lot of the networking tools is built off Linux. But you get my drift here. Linux is basically involved in a lot of things. So this is one of the certifications or one of the areas that I look back at my younger self and I just think, man, what was you thinking 10, 15 years ago when you had a lot of time available, when you was coming home from work, basically get, getting on PS4 or well, PS3 at the time, playing Tomb Raider. And like I said, I think that's probably the last game I beat was Tomb Raider. So I look back on myself and say, man, what was you thinking? You should have been learning some Linux. So this is my me telling my younger self, you should have been learning some Linux. If you're listening to this, you should be learning some Linux. So this is one of the things, like I said, it's very valuable. Uh, most larger companies that I'm finding out, you know, when I speak of larger companies, uh, you often hear me relate to them to the companies that got their ticker symbol. You know, say so they got their ticker symbol in the stock market. A lot of them, you they're pretty large companies. So a lot of those companies, what I'm starting to find out is a lot of them, you won't even make you won't even make it past the interview if you don't know no Linux. Matter of fact, you probably won't even make it to the interview. A lot of them expect for you to have some kind of Linux experience. So Linux, like I said, you got LPIT, uh, Linux Plus, and also you got Red Hat. You know, depending on what you see the most in your area, I would say that's probably what you go for. Uh, Linux Plus and LPIT, I would say those are kind of vendor neutral, where Red Hat is basically vendor specific. You know, it's basically on the Red Hat OS. But their certifications, like I said, are real valuable. And then they also have another slew of products that, that's built on top of Linux that's real valuable, too. So, like I said, right now, often, like I said, every time I open up maybe X or maybe uh, formerly Twitter, I call it Twitter a lot. But every time I open it up, you know, I see someone talking about how they got called for a interview and they got job offers basically pertaining to Linux. So like I said, this is one of the certifications. If you don't take no other advice from me besides getting that CCNA, if you take anything else from me, I would say look into Linux. I'm not saying go out and get the certification, but just look into it. Get get to get the, to where you know yourself around it. You know, get to where you know enough to be dangerous. But like I said, this is this was my third certification that I actually think moves the needle.